Fuller 12 Futurecast. Well, if you have plans to be out on the roads either today or this evening, no issues. Things will be dry and quiet, but then things start to change overnight. Let's get you to the timeline. And I do think most of the snow and sleet gets going after around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, continuing to around 3 or 4. And then from 4 in the morning to 7 o'clock in the morning, basically the hours leading up to sunrise, that's when the change from snow to sleet over to freezing rain and rain starts to occur. So I do think for a brief period early tomorrow morning, everybody sees the sleet and the snow with the exception of the south coast. You will likely just see rain and sleet. As we work past the 7 a.m. hour into the lunchtime hour, it's pretty much rain, but there could be some lingering sleet and freezing rain, especially north and west of 295. More on the freezing rain threat in just a second. And then afternoon, it's plain old rain showers. Some of those rain showers could be heavy at times. I don't want to totally write off that rainfall threat for the evening commute. That could make it messy as well. On live pinpoint Doppler 12, not tracking any precipitation for now. On the threat tracker today, this evening, we keep you in the low category. And then tomorrow, we put you in the yellow category because of the wintry mix. I'm a little more concerned about the freezing rain than the snowfall amounts. A lot of you not really going to see much in terms of snowfall accumulation, but that freezing rain threat, that's what can sneak up on you. It's tough to see that thin layer of ice on the roads or the overpasses, so that's something we'll be watching carefully tonight into tomorrow. Narragansett, a beautiful looking scene here. Notice the flags really busy flapping in the wind. There is a lot of wind and that will continue this afternoon. Hurricane barrier, beautiful blue sky mixed with some clouds. Temperatures staying in the mid 30s. This is where we were this morning. We will continue to stay here into the afternoon with those winds between about 15 and even 20 miles an hour, putting wind chills in the upper 20s to low 30s. You can see actually a wind chill of 24 in Smithfield right now, so definitely jacket weather. Now we have the sunshine showing up on the satellite picture right now, mixing with a few of these clouds. The precipitation that we're watching for later on tonight still well off to our west, so that's why we have plenty of time to keep analyzing this. We uh, go through this hour by hour in terms of your temperatures today. Like I just said, mid 30s, windy, cold, kind of like we're feeling right now. We now fast forward to this evening. This is around 1130 at night. Notice the snow starts to break out. Coming in from the north and west, you can see around 4 o'clock in the morning, a combination of snow and sleet for most. Some rain and westerly down through Narragansett, mixing with perhaps just a little bit of sleet. As we take you into the 8 o'clock in the morning hour, plain rain showers from westerly into Newport, Jamestown, also in Providence. But to the north and west of 295, we still could be mixing in some sleet or even freezing rain. So this is that critical time where we have to watch that freezing rain threat very carefully. By noontime, it's plain old rain showers with a few bands of heavy rain passing through, perhaps for the evening commute, although most of the precipitation should be done with by the later parts of the evening evening commute. So in terms of accumulations, about a coating here in Providence, rain and sleet, so not much or anything here at the south coast, a coating to around two inches to the north and west of 295. Still some uncertainty with this part of the future cast, so make sure you stay tuned to TJ Del Santos future cast tonight. He'll have updates on any adjustments that need to be made. If you're traveling to the north, say north of the Mass Pike early tomorrow morning, be mindful that two to four inches of snow is possible there. So in the seven day future cast, you can see once we get through that mess tomorrow, we have a dry start to Wednesday, chance of some showers on Wednesday evening, showers likely on New Year's Eve day. By New Year's Eve night, we should dry things out. Temperatures in the 30s and then on New Year's Day, low 40s with a mix of sun and clouds and it does look dry and blustery throughout the weekend. But definitely stay tuned to TJ later tonight. A tricky forecast, so mm. the more data we can get, the better. And we'll be here tomorrow morning walking everybody through the challenges of the commute. We will, absolutely. All right, Pete, thanks so much. Here is a look at what we are working on for you for Eyewitness News beginning live at 5.